Hello student, today I am here with a new topic that is resource and development. So first of all, I just want to make you understand what is resource and you have already studied at your class 7th and 8th. Resource is the thing we satisfy our need, means the thing which we use to satisfy our need. It should be technologically accessible, economically feasible and socially acceptable. If you will just see around you, there are so many things. Something are natural, something man-made or human resource is also there like in form of doctor, teacher, shopkeeper. Okay, but I just want to make you more understand what is the resource. Means anything which is available in the nature, that is natural thing. But you can't say every natural thing is a resource. Resource means if there is a water in the river, you can't say river, that water is a resource. Till then, you are not using it. Okay, but how can a natural thing convert into natural resource? It is required. It happened because of a resource that is called human resource. So the most important resource is human resource. Without human resource, any natural thing can be converted into resource. So here, I just want to make you understand by another example. That is, uh, uh, there is a stone or rocks on the mountain. Okay. And that, that rock is a natural thing only. But when human beings use technology and make institution to take it out and then supply it to you to make your home, then that rock becomes a natural resource. So natural thing convert into natural resource and human resource convert it with the help of technology, with the help of knowledge, with the help of institution. So, the first category of resources is on the basis of their origin. And on the basis of their origin, there are two categories. One is biotic and another is abiotic. And I know there is a subject, biology, all of you know. Biology is a subject. What is the meaning of bio? Just find out the meaning of bio in your dictionary and if you know that is good okay and just give me the meaning of bio in my comment box now uh, there is another thing another category that is a biotic resource first of all biotic resource biotic resource is the living organism or living thing which is available in our nature like cow, that is biotic resource. Trees, biotic resource. Okay, and uh, human being, that is also biotic resource. Okay, the thing which is living thing and we are using to satisfy our need, they are called biotic resources. Another category is a biotic resources. A biotic resource means those who are non-living thing but we use to satisfy our need and among them like we use water that is a biotic thing we use to satisfy our need soil to grow to do agriculture to grow trees to grow crops that is a biotic we use also land to make factories to make schools and houses all this is the second category in which we divide our resources or you can say classification is on the basis of on the basis of adjustability and on the basis of adjustability we divide into two categories one is renewable sources and another is non-renewable sources renewable resources means the thing the resources which we can use again and again and again Again and again, 
but it cannot be finished. And the example is there like wind energy or solar energy or water. We can use them again and again. Here you, you should not be confused. Water is renewable resources as well as abiotic resources also. Non-renewable resources are those resources which we can use once or twice or thrice and after that it will finish. And just in this birth it cannot grow or it cannot produce again by the nature like coal energy once you use then it take million of year to produce by the nature so coal petroleum product they are non renewable resources another category is on the basis of uh, ownership are resources into four categories and they are first of all individual property or individual resource means any resource which is owned by any individual like your father owned your home or you have you are the owner of some piece of land or as a student you are owner of the pen you are having the notebook you are having this is individual property so such kind of resources which we own individually or owned by our family they are called individual resources and another resources are uh, community resources it is community means a, a small uh, number of people a community like a village is a community a colony is a community and a village which have a playground in the village it is owned by the whole village it is not community resources national resources this is another category means the thing which owned by our country and every person every citizen of our country are entitled to use that like a road highway uh, and like hospital okay this is called our national resources and some resources which all the country can use but it is regulated by UNO it is called international resources like and every country has the right to use that ocean and it is regulated by UNO Okay, like uh, Antarctica. Antarctica has lots of natural resources, but it is regulated by UNO. Another category of natural resource or resources in which we divide that is state of development. And in this way, we divide our resources in four categories that is potential resources and uh, developed resources stock and reserve and first of all i will take first category that is that is potential resources and what is potential resources i'm giving you example we have like in india we have lots of resources over there but because of the lack of shortage of technical capital or any other reason we are not able to take it out it is lack of i'm telling you because you will confuse it with the stock so because of lack of technology or technical capital we are not able to take it out but we are having a technology is also available so such kind of resources is called potential resources another resource is developed developed resources are there that we have a proper planning we have proper resources we have uh, proper technology and it is feasible and it is acceptable by the society and technology is available there 
and we are taking it out for our well-being or for use for development that kind of resource is called developed resource now i am going to tell you another resource it is stock okay stock is the resource which is available and theoretically we know that we can use it but technically we are not able and proper technology is not developed for using that resource that thing so maybe in future some technology will be developed and we will start to use it like water i am giving you example of water water is a compound of oxygen and hydrogen hydrogen is a combustible gas and oxygen help to combustion okay now if we will break hydrogen uh, if we will break the water into hydrogen and oxygen and we use this energy but we don't have technology theoretically it is possible theoretically it can happen but right now we are not having proper technology second example is hydrogen is available in plenty of amount but we can't use because the lack of technology not lack of technology because this technology is not still developed so another another category of resources reserve resource we have resources we have technology there is no lack of technology or capital but we are not using in keep of mind that our future generation will be used and it can be finished forever we reserve it for the future this kind of resource is called reserve resources and you can see the america is very rich in petroleum or crude oil in form of crude oil but it is not taking it out it is purchasing the crude oil from other countries why because america know in future it can be finished and at that time it required so america just reserved that resource for future it is called reserve resources